I'm Chopsicle the dog, and this is Top 30 Strong Objects Crushed by a 500 ton hydraulic press. This is 130 tons that it's taking to smush this sledgehammer. Can you believe that anything could crush a sledgehammer? I honestly didn't think there was anything. I thought you had like superheat it and then like work it like you were gonna turn it into a sword or something like that is the only thing. Coins, look at that. Oh, that's so satisfying. They were smushed like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looked like the bottom of the press actually split on that one. Carbon fiber. Oh, I know that's a really strong material. That's, that's crazy. I think they make things on airplanes out of that. Okay, we've got an oak stool. Oak is very strong, but the way that is put together, I think, yeah, 110 tons is a lot though. So this is another sledgehammer, just like the first one. I think it took like 130 tons uh, to take that out. Whoa, oh my gosh, it just shattered it. 360 tons. Every ton is like 2,100 pounds. Whoa, 110 tons to shatter that. So if you had to like stack things on top of it that wasn't just like a weighted uh you know mechanical press like this i mean 130 tons would take so much stuff to pile on top to create that kind of weight it would take years probably <laughs> a foil ball again that's really satisfying i don't know how many tons that was but now it's flat like a pancake <laughs> oh whoa I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that doesn't look too safe to me. <laughs> Definitely don't try that at home. Whoa. It's just breaking apart into pieces. <laughs> 50 times. Must be 50 times slower. Wow, look at that. I love slow motion. It looks like those pieces are just floating in here. And then we have the pipe. Oh, that is gonna be a four-sided iron pipe. Oh, it's built to be so strong, and it just smushes like, uh, like rubber. <laughs> like it's a rubber suit coming off. That is crazy how powerful that is. Wow. Oh, a safe, a small safe. Oh, look at that thing. I hope they don't have anything valuable in there. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, there's no diamonds in there. <laughs> Get the press. Oh, no way. A 16 kilogram kettleball. Oh, just shatters the handle. Are they going to keep going or are we just going for the handle here? Oh, they turned it sideways. This is going to take, I don't even know what this would take. We were looking at like 360, uh, only 120 tons. Oh, it's hollow, that's why. Oh, and it's full of all this like, like metal dust. <laughs> that's great, that's gotta be to add the weight, that sand. All right, a tank gun fragment, oh. Now he did it sideways, this is gonna be much smushier than if he had it turned on end. Of course, it would be much stronger that way, I'm sure. Oh, it's just smushing, it's like he's smushing Pac-Man or something. <laughs> Wow, it's lips. <laughs> it wants to kiss you. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Now it is no longer a pipe. <laughs> and tungsten carbide. Oh, I know that's a super, super strong element. So this is actually standing up to, I don't know if that's metal or concrete that they're driving the press into, but it went through it. <laughs> that is nuts. Just went through it. Toilet paper. You know they make toilet paper strong. Look at that. <laughs> that is satisfying too. Is it going to explode? I feel like it might. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> or maybe I hope it does. Look at that. It's just flattened. Okay, CDs. I feel like these are going to just burst. Just shatter all over the place. 
that. It's like the plastic almost looks like it's melting, turning into like a rubbery gel. Oh, look at that. Now, you might not even know what CDs are. <laughs> Nobody uses them anymore, so you could probably do that all day long. People just bring them old CDs. Lego! 50 tons. Look at the Legos go. <laughs> Oh, it's almost like they made Lego out of Play-Doh. <laughs> that is nuts. Look at that, the colors. So glad they did the colors that way. That was super, super satisfying. Wow. So much pressure on that. Lego is very strong, but it is still made of plastic. And even though plastic is strong, it's not gonna stand up to a hydraulic press. What is that? It didn't tell us what it is. Oh, look at that. It's just smushing like clay. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's some kind of metal, I think. Look at that. Oh, you might as well be smushing peanut butter. <laughs> oh, now you've got a giant penny, <laughs> a drilling head. So this, I think, is a drilling head that actually drills into the ground, like looking for oil or something like that. That is bonkers. Those, yep, those are the ball bearings. Oxygen tank with water. That, oh, they probably filled the oxygen tank with water. Oh, this is gonna be an easy burst. Something like OCD about me is wishing that this was lined in there just slightly more evenly. <laughs> I feel like the left side just left a little extra space there. And I don't know, it's driving me crazy. Oh, there it goes. Their protective cover actually got shattered by the water. Like they were like, let's protect our camera, put some plexiglass up. And the water that shot out actually shattered the plexiglass. It happened so fast that at 300 times slower, it still hit immediately. Wow, look at this. Oh, that, they said that's perfect. That is just pushing it. <laughs> Absolutely smushing it. Look at it go. It's like popping too. Oh, there's something, I don't know if it's weird about me, but this is really, satisfying to watch i like that <laughs> okay what's next all right another one turned on end oh you can see the paint that kind of like metal paint that they put on there whatever that is just like flaking off before the metal really starts bending like crazy oh look at that oh, iron is just getting smashed Whoa, <laughs> okay, crazy. How far can it smush? <laughs> it's iron. There shouldn't be a lot of like air in there. A big rail. I think this must have been from, I don't know, something to do with a train, the train tracks or something. Oh, it's going to bend to the side. That's what it's going to do. Get it pressing. Okay, okay. It's twisting. Now it's coming. Oh! Dude, I hope they're okay. That was dangerous. <laughs> okay. If you were standing in the wrong spot, that was going to be it. That was it for you. So this is a big spring. This seems so dangerous. What are they doing? Definitely do not try this at home. Not that you could. You probably don't have a giant hydraulic press, but look at this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's just turning over the side. Looks like sausage links. <laughs> like a big kielbasa. <laughs> Polish sausage. As they say in Chicago, Polish sausage. Or at least on that Saturday night. Go this big spring from the side. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it even lasts as long as it does. That is so much metal. 
Uh, I wonder what it takes to even twist a big spring like that. I mean, you know, it's got to be superheated, I'm sure, and you know, treated like I don't know, kind of like with a sword or something. They somehow twist the metal to get that shape. Yo, what is that? I'm going back. What is that? Neodymium magnet. Neodymium magnet. Magnet under a 500-ton hydraulic press. What happens to a magnet? Every magnet I've ever held is really dense, really heavy for its size. Oh my God. Oh, I did not see that coming. That is a bunch of metal layered together, I think. So it's starting to split apart into pieces. And then as they hit each other, it created tons of heat, tons of friction, and just red shot that oh their protective cover thing is gone all right we're going into steel whoa but they're doing it with like one of those tungsten carbide i think uh, you know, point, pointy things whatever you want to call it 450 tons what it took to get through steel look at that oh my gosh armor steel this is even stronger this is something they use in like America. oh my gosh it's actually affecting the pointy th oh my god that is so strong <laughs> if that thing is tungsten carbide again oh it's made of medium hardened steel wow <laughs> it did nothing. You can barely even see a mark. Very hard corn. Okay. Oh, corn. So they moved to the very hard corn. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, man. Nothing. Like, it, it penetrated it a little bit. But, I mean, that's got to be what they make. Like, military bunkers. Wow, the amount of pressure that that can take is crazy. And as always, I left a link to the original video in the description. And I'm Chopsicle the Dog. Tell me I'm a good boy by subscribing and liking the video.